Is God lost? Like many of us feel that way. It's as if God has gone missing out in the universe somewhere. And we need to pick up the hunt, like following any trail of breadcrumbs we can to go find him. So we talk about searching for God and exploring spirituality and finding faith. What if we have it backwards and God's actually the one coming after us? What if it's not so much about hitting the trailhead and ramping up our search for God as it is about coming out of the bushes and letting him find us? Like maybe it's not so much about discovering the light and flipping it on as it is stepping out of the shadows and laying our lives vulnerably before our creator who comes in love to redeem us. You know, Jesus reveals this God who's coming after our world, this God on the prowl, hunting down his world for reconciliation. And the question that we're faced with is not so much, should we search hard enough, did we jump high enough? The question is, do we wanna be found? I wrote this book to try and help us explore this outrageous pursuit of God. And A.W. Tozer once said, the thing that comes into our mind when we first think about God may be the most important thing about us. What he meant by that was like, the way that we see our creator has the power to shape and transform us in its image. And so, man, when you hear, I'm curious, when you hear the phrase, the pursuit of God, is the first thing that comes to mind your pursuit of God or God's pursuit of you? If the first thing you think of is, I gotta go out and find God, I, my hope is to actually flip that on its head by diving deeper into the biblical story, by taking a fresh look at the robust historic Christian faith and encountering there a God who comes relentlessly after us in love. And I wanna deal with some of the tough parts of the story too, things like sacrifice and wrath and atonement, parts that can kinda make us go, dude, I don't know if I want that God to find me, right? That can feel a little scary. And yet I've encountered there that if we, we wanna reclaim and kinda of reframe a healthier biblical understanding of those, those can be some of the most powerful lenses through which we see God's love that has come for us in Christ. Francis Thompson, he wrote this famous poem back in the 19th century called The Hound of Heaven. I like to think he called it that because God's love is like that, kinda of like this hound coming after a rabbit, right? That God is willing to kinda of crash through our distance and crush down our idols to get to our heart. So I wanna invite you to explore that God together with me. The God revealed in Jesus Christ, the God of the historic Christian faith, man, the pursuing God, and his reckless, irrational, obsessed love that's dying to bring us home. The Pursuing God by Joshua Ryan Butler. Available now.